Hey there. Today we're going to be talking about an annoying problem uh, that I have received some questions about. Uh, and I think it's a very relevant topic to, to try and cover here. And that is the topic of surface tension. Now, I'm, I'm not really going to bother with explaining the science behind all this, partially because I don't fully understand it myself. This is not really my field of study. Uh, but what is important is that you understand uh, the problem. The problem is that this is a converter, and in the converter is ink. Granted, not a whole lot of ink, but there is some ink in there. Uh, and what happens sometimes is that you have this converter, and you turn it around, and as you can see, that ink remains right there. It's, it, it doesn't go down. And when you are writing, there we have it. Now it just, it just sort of popped and it slid down. Um, the, and now it's, it's on that end. You see, and it's not going down from there. Now it goes back again. And with some converters, this can really be a problem. And imagine what happens if, if this ink just sticks there in a sort of bubble. Um, you would be writing, but at some point there would be no more ink in your feed and it, the pen's not drawing up any more ink because the ink is right there and not at the end near this nipple where it is actually sucked into the feed. So, what to do? Because your pen will run dry even though there is ink in the converter and um, as I said some converters are more um, uh, sort of are more sensitive uh, uh, to that problem than others. This is a Chinese converter and I know that these do it quite a lot and, and you can see the problem here clearly, right? Okay, so how do you solve this? Well, fortunately, there's a very simple solution and that is to add an agitator. And a lot of these converters actually come with agitators. If you have some, some inexpensive Chinese pens, you may have seen little balls in there or maybe just even bits of, of coil. Um, I've seen that a lot of times now uh, and that works really well because what that does is you just add a foreign object into the converter, a small object, uh, such as a ball, for example, ball bearing. So what I've got here is another one of these converters. It's the same type as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to add something. Here we got some balls, ball bearings. Uh, and now you're going to ask me where I purchased those. Well, I didn't. These are from a, a swivel chair, a swivel desk chair that, that died. And I took it apart to, to get rid of it. And from some bit, suddenly I had all these little balls falling on the floor. Um, I suppose you could use BBs if you're in the US, especially those should be very easy to come by. A lot of people have air guns. Um, in Europe it's not that easy in all countries, but in Spain you should be able to get them. In Germany you should definitely be able to get them. In the Netherlands it's a little bit harder, but I mean there are many countries where you can get those. For air guns, they're a little bit bigger than this usually. Uh, I think... Well, I was gonna say four and a half millimeter but that sounds a little large when I think about it I don't know they have a somewhat larger diameter you can put those in these things work fine very small balls and of course one thing that is necessary is you have to be able to open up your converter if you cannot do that then this might be a little bit difficult although you may be even be, may even be able to come up with a solution so you have this little ball and I throw it in there and then I put this back in place and that's pretty much all there's to it uh, now the thing is, I'm assuming that you do not happen to have these ball bearings lying around the house. So what can we come up with that works as well? Well, a very simple and low-cost solution is to make a ritual sacrifice. University of Amsterdam, this is where I studied. Uh, I, I got one of these free pens at some point, and today the free pen is going to die. Um, here we have that coil. You know that coil from a, a ballpoint pen. And look at that bit. You see that? That's really nice. Why is that nice? Because it's sort of... This is really coiled, wound tightly. Um, and that's what we're going to use. So we take some pair of pliers um, and you just cut off a bit. It really doesn't have to be big. So I'm using this and I'm grabbing it because I don't want this to fly away. There you have it. Okay? This is my agitator. It's a little small. I'd probably make it a little bit bigger than this, but, you know, those balls aren't that much bigger anyway. You throw that in your converter, and you take the piston, assemble the unit again. Um, is this going to rust? Probably, but I, how much is this? 
five cents, maybe less. I mean, it's it's very low value thing. I take some ink. I have here Noodler's X Feather in a small bottle because my large bottle was running a bit low and I couldn't fill my pens from that anymore. I'm going to put in some ink. I'm going to close that bottle. I do not want X Feather all over my desk. Um, and now I'm just going to pull back that piston. All right. Do you see any surface tension? Because I don't. There's always a little bit of ink that stays on top there, but that's all right. Why is this working? Because the surface tension that is keeping the ink, the ink at the top of the converter is broken by the agitator. You see? That's the, 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 the point. That's why this works. And this way, you don't have to open up your pen and operate the piston knob to get that ink down there when you're writing, which is annoying, it takes time, etc. All you have to do when your pen stops writing, and you think it's probably a surface tension issue, it's just rotate it. You put it upside down, and the ink goes, the, the agitator goes down, and the agitator goes towards the nib again, and you can write again because the ink is down there, no longer up there. So here you have it, a very, very, very simple solution. Um, I think you can come up with a bunch of, of things uh, that, that you could use as an agitator. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you're not, I mean, you're not really scratching anything in there or whatever. Um, now, imagine you would have a converter that you cannot open up. Well, then you have a bit of a problem. But even then, I suppose what you could do, this is a coil. Um, I suppose what you could try to do is just wind something in there or, or something or, or um, of course you don't really want it to fall out on the other hand this is going to slide over the nipple of the feed and it can't really slide out there's usually not a big hole in there so maybe you can put something else in there um, don't put anything like wood in there obviously because that's going to absorb ink um, but anything that's made of metal I think should be pretty good and really shouldn't affect the ink uh, and there you have it so I hope this was useful and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.